So I feel like the best time to get my work done is at night when everybody's asleep. Hey guys, good night. So I wanted to share with you a nighttime routine, baby girl nighttime routine. So baby girl has been sleeping in my room since she's been born. She's now four months old. When you guys see this, she's probably five months, but She's been sleeping in our room in her bassinet and I finally feel like it's time for her to venture out into her own room. So I want to share this video with you. This is an improv video. I am, I did plan to do a nighttime routine, but I didn't plan to do it tonight. But out the blue. I just decided I'm going to put her in her room tonight. So you're just going to see a little clip from tonight. But I'm definitely going to record a nighttime routine for you guys. So right now I have her in her crib. She's been sleeping good for the past two hours. She just kind of wake up a little bit to be fed. I tried to feed her, but she fell right back asleep. I'm up doing some editing right now, so I pretty much know she might wake up again so that she can fully eat. But for now, I'm going to just leave her where she is until she wakes up. So, let me show you her. So, tonight is the first night, guys, that baby girl is in her room. And... I'm excited to see how she does. I want her to get comfortable and used to her bed because sooner or later she'll no longer be able to fit in her bassinet. And right now, whenever she sleeps in her bassinet, she's always scooting her face up all the way and it makes me super nervous. So she's really a noisy sleeper. She makes a lot of noise in her sleep. <laughs> But yeah, guys, she is doing good so far, but we'll see. I'm going to be trying this at least once or twice a week or maybe more, but we'll see. It depends because y'all, my bedroom is not close to hers. I do have a camera, but y'all, <laughs> having to wake up and walk all the way in here I'm just not in the mood for that but if I want her to get comfortable I have to put my feelings aside and my need to sleep aside and get her comfortable in her room so yes guys this is what we are working with right now so hopefully she does really good I would love for her to sleep through the night but she's not doing that just yet she wakes up about every two or three hours to be fed and changed. So we'll see how that goes. So I feel like the best time to get my work done is at night when everybody's asleep. So even though this is baby girl's nighttime routine, I'm going to share my nighttime routine along with hers. So... Right now, everybody's asleep. It is 12.15 a.m. <laughs> and I'm up. Um, so I edited like 13 vlogs. No, not 13 vlogs. 13 videos. Some for my... Um, some for my cleaning channel. I edited 8 videos for my cleaning channel. And five videos for my um five videos for my I keep looking at my computer guys sorry uh five videos for my vlog channel so right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do my title my description as well as I am trying to do my tags so that's what I'm up doing right now 
and I feel like this is the best time I get to do that as well as do voiceover because everybody's asleep and I can get peace and quiet. Oh, so I have baby girl camera right here. You guys probably can't see her. I had to turn the volume down so you guys don't hear that as well as I don't know if that would have copyright issues or anything. But I do need to go fix her camera because I can barely see her head. So, yeah, that's what I am trying to do right now. I need to get it done because I start posting my videos in February. It is now um, the 14th. So, I start posting my videos on both of my channel February 1st. So I need to get this done so that they are ready to be posted in February. So yeah guys, that is pretty much what I'm doing right now. But I think on Sunday, I'm going to actually record a nighttime routine. Just so you guys can see what we do before we go to bed. But just so you guys know, with a baby... If you're a mom, then you totally understand the routine is never the same. Every night is different. Every day is different. So what I may do tonight may be different tomorrow. So I know when she was born, I did a nighttime routine. And that was just when she got here, what I did. So now she's been here for four months. The routine is definitely not the same, but I wanted to share it with you guys just so you can see how we get ourselves ready for bed. So I'm going to finish do this. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also watching Castle on my phone. I'm actually using my phone to record right now because I'm using my SIM card in my computer so I cannot... Um, record with my camera so i'm recording with my phone and my phone quality is amazing guys it is gorgeous better than my camera <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna finish do this one of the hardest things i realize when i'm trying to get my videos ready is coming up with titles it's just so hard but I'm trying to work on that right now and see if I can get it done. As well as I need to charge my phone. My phone is telling me right now that my battery is running low. So guys, I just wanted to share with you this. But we will definitely get into baby girl and mommy routine. So look forward to sharing that with you. And I hope you are excited just to just see how we get our nights ended <laughs> so let me go charge my phone because it's about to die hey guys welcome so in the first clip i showed you guys it was a couple nights ago when i was showing you my nighttime it wasn't exactly a routine with baby girl and then i told you guys sunday i was gonna show you guys a nighttime routine with her and the kids but y'all it is Wednesday. <laughs> it's a couple days later and I never recorded that because y'all I've been so busy this week. But baby girl is sleeping right now and I decided I'm going to show you guys our routine or afternoon slash night routine. I am starting a little bit earlier than usual only because I am getting ready to cook dinner and I'm doing a crock pot meal. So because I'm doing a crock pot meal, I have to start early. It's now 2.11. My son gets home at two, um, 3.40. So I want to get that started. And then when he gets home and a little bit later, like 5 or so, I will continue my afternoon routine. So I just finished doing some work. I was editing a video. And because baby girl is sleeping... 
you guys can see her barely <laughs> so because she was sleeping I, she's sleeping right now she's been sleeping since like 11 or 12 so i want to get cooking started before she wake up oops i may have talked too soon <laughs> hi i thought you were gonna go take your nap huh i thought you were gonna go take a nap so I have him listening to some nursery rhymes so he can go to school, um, go to sleep. But she's starting to move, which means she's gonna wake up really soon. So let me get dinner started and you guys can see what I'm making on my menu list. So Monday we did have meatloaf. Yesterday we had pot pies. So today we're gonna have crock pot honey bourbon chicken and that's my first time making it so i'm super happy to try it and hopefully it comes out good so let me show you guys all the ingredients i'm gonna need so it is a recipe that i found off pinterest let me find it and i've been looking at recipes a lot on pinterest lately because i feel like i want to try new things and i feel like the only way i can do that is if I look at recipes where is it okay here it is so if I look at recipes then I will get motivated to try different things especially because in our household we are not the biggest fan of chicken because I feel like we eat chicken so much I might speed talking <laughs> we eat chicken so much that at this point we are pretty much over it so I'm trying to find different ways to make it exciting so everybody will eat it so this is what i'm making today it's a crock pot honey bourbon chicken let's jump to the recipe jump to recipe is it jumping okay there we go so i've never tried this before but i'm definitely excited to try it it said the prep time is five minutes cook for three hours and then I still have to figure out sides. So hopefully you guys can see it. So you need two pounds of chicken breast. I don't know what it is with people talking about seasoning with salt and pepper. There's so much more to season your meat. I do not season my meat with salt and pepper. No, I use seasoning. You need a cup of honey, some low sodium soy sauce, some ketchup, vegetable oil, minced garlic onions and some red pepper flakes so they have the instructions as well so i'm definitely going to leave it on my um description for you so you guys can check it out but i know i'm rambling and i keep saying i'm gonna go before baby girl wake up but now i'm definitely gonna do it so let's get into cooking dinner guys <music> create my sauce now I'm just gonna get my chicken breast ready and I already washed it with some vinegar so now I'm just gonna cut off the fatty areas yeah. my little um, helper is here so once all the little fatty areas is cut off I am gonna slice mine up so the recipe says the instruction says you do this afterwards but I want to do mine now so I'm just going to slice it up and then when I finish slicing it up I'm going to season my meat and I'm going to show you guys all the seasoning that I will be using I'm going to use the roasted garlic and herb 
I'm going to use some onion powder. I'm going to use some Cajun seasoning, some garlic powder, and some paprika. I want the season to marinate a little bit the recipe does not call for chicken broth but I'm still gonna add a little bit in here so I'm gonna add it in the crock pot when it is hot it's when I'm gonna add in my chicken give it a little time to marinate <music> second one is gonna be but for the first one I'm gonna make a zucchini corn parmesan bake again the recipe is on uh, Pinterest and I'm gonna put it in my description so you guys can see so I have my zucchini uh, let me scroll down to where the recipe is you hold it so that I can make sure I follow the directions so you're gonna need some corn it says frozen corn but I have canned corn you're gonna need some Parmesan cheese um, some extra virgin oil and I think you can get the Parmesan cheese that is similar to the mozzarella cheese you're also gonna need mozzarella and you're gonna need some minced garlic I didn't have any shredded Parmesan cheese, but I did have this one, the grated one. You need your zucchini and some onions. So I cut up my zucchini, but I'm gonna slice them up in some cubes. So let me put, and you're just gonna mix everything together. We put the onions in here. Put that over there. Move everything out of my way. And then you're just gonna make your zucchini into a cute size. salt and pepper and thinking that's the only thing you can season meat with and you can hear a baby girl in the background you're gonna cook it for eight minutes and just let the zucchini lightly brown once that is done then you remove it from the heat, add in the corn and the cheese. Now that this is finished, I'm going to remove it from the heat.
I decided to get the boys to eat. I'm going to make some rice because they actually like rice. And then my zucchini is finished. My zucchini and corn. And then my chicken is almost finished. I'm just trying to get it to water down some more. But I'm about to go to Dollar Tree and come back. So by the time I come back, it should be finished. What? You keep breaking it. What are we doing? Oh, we got to put the bat back on. All right, come on. Hey, what's your problem? What's wrong? What's your problem? Like I said, guys, no two days are the same. No two days will my routine be the same. So right now I have to run to Dollar Tree. I'm outside. I have to get some stuff for my master bedroom closet. So um, seeing that I'm recording a routine, this is not a part of my routine, but I've done this once or twice last week where I had to leave the house to go get something when my husband come home from work. So I figure why not add it because it happens sometimes. <laughs> to eat went to the store came back and my husband added sausage to my food because like I said we do not like chicken he does not really like chicken so he wanted to add something else to it so that's why you guys are seeing sausage so I went to Dollar Tree and I got a bunch of these I got the big ones with the three in it and I got the small one with the four in it I need to put them in my closet for my husband hats and then I got myself some socks so right now I'm about to eat and watch some more castle my husband um, is about to get the boys their bath and get them dressed for bed <laughs> is not going good <laughs> okay let me go get you some change of clothes okay mama didn't I tell you to stop moving come here lay back right there told you to stop moving stop moving okay I think you're getting poop everywhere So this is her look for the night. So at nights when I'm putting on a matching outfit that has a hat or a headband, I'll just put it on until it's time for her to go to bed. Then I take it off. So you guys get to see her before. You are my sunshine. Yes. So this is the before. And this is the after. You look so cute, mama. Hi. You want to sit up? Let's sit up. 
Ugh. There you go. You look so cute. Okay, mommy gonna put you down so she that so so that I can I oh lord <laughs> getting tongue tied so that I can go wash your bouncy. Yes, so, can you go get mommy a water? Here you go. Thank you. Anybody else struggle to feed your kids? I cooked them dinner. I gave them dinner. It's still sitting on the table. I cannot get them to eat. They're so such picky eaters. So right now I'm having a late night snack. Some Rocky Road ice cream with some cherries on top. I used to love chocolate ice cream. Then I wasn't a fan of it anymore. Then I like strawberry ice cream. Not a fan of it anymore. And then one day I bought Rocky Road from ice cream. The best ice cream I've ever had. Tastes so good. Absolutely love Rocky Road ice cream. So right now it's about um, seven something. Um, my five year old, he goes to bed at. He goes to bed at nine thirty, ten o'clock. Um, I try to give him a bedtime, but. When I normally have him come in the room, he just sits up and play with his brother. And no matter how many times I say, go to bed, you have school in the morning, you're going to be exhausted when you wake up. He ignore me and he plays. But the good thing is they get several nap time at school, so I don't really fuss about it. My two-year-old, he doesn't have a bedtime right now. I know, I know, I know. I need to create a routine for them and let them have a bedtime, but... You know, uh, they only live once. Let them enjoy life as much as they can. So, even if that means staying up late. During, on the weekends, they definitely don't have any bedtime. So, sometimes they don't go to bed till like 2 o'clock. If I'm up 2 o'clock, they're up with me. Um, Journey was asleep. Put her in her crib. She woke right back up. So, now she's with her dad. So I'm about to enjoy me some ice cream till it's time for the boys to go to bed and I can get my me time, which is normally around 12 o'clock in the morning. <laughs>